Hello Aries, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, today I'm here to bring you a weekly Love Vibes reading. This is just a general reading, so take what messages speak to you and leave what doesn't. For those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, welcome. How are you? Um, I'm also on Instagram, you guys, so feel free to connect with me over there if that speaks to you. I do offer a variety of separate readings over on my IGTV channel, which may interest you and may speak to you. So if that does speak to you, then I will leave a description in the descriptions box below on how to connect with me. Guys, for this particular reading, I am using these two tarots here. We've got the Dreamers Tarot and we've got the Native Heart Healing Oracle. I'm going to start with an Oracle card first, just to pick up on what your what your overall energy is regarding love and relationships for your upcoming week. Now, my readings are timeless, Aries, okay? They're timeless, so whenever you land on these, I do set the intention that you can at least take away one thing away from my readings that can help you with where you're currently at, okay? So, angels, spirits, guides, what is the overall energy for our Aryans regarding love and relationships for the upcoming week, please. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, nice. We have the Lakota tribe. Really loving the colors there. Um, I've got, we've got the shake, the shakral. <laughs> We've got the sacral chakra, okay, and the solar chakra colors coming through. We've even got a little bit of the root chakra colors coming through. So we've got all those bottom layers, uh, all those bottom chakras coming through in your reading. So I'm feeling like aries regarding love and relationships you may need to work on your lower chakras okay you may need to work on your boundaries you may need to work on your self-esteem or your confidence okay you may need to work on um your pleasure as well so what brings you pleasure if your pleasure zone and i i usually pick up the Oh, I can't even get my words out today. Um, the sacral chakra is tied in with pleasure. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? If you at all feel a sense of guilt um, when it comes to love and relationships and receiving pleasure and doing things that excite you and any anything can excite you and anything can bring you pleasure i'm not just talking sexual pleasure or that kind of pleasure i'm talking about what brings you joy and enjoying those things and if you feel guilty at all or if someone makes you feel guilty um, for receiving pleasure in whatever shape or form that takes then Obviously, your sacral is out of balance, okay? So you will know if um, forms of guilt come through. Now, that's an intuitive download that obviously I needed to share with you guys, all right? So that may play or take effect in your love life or relationships or connection. So for whatever reason, Spirit wanted me to share that with you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the book now. And we're going to see what this, this mandala is all about, okay? Alrighty. So it says here, your tribe, loyal friendships, the global village. This mandala represents the healing energy of the Lakota tribe, also known as the 
Shooks Nation, I think I've said that properly, and speaks of the great ancient ways of the Native Americans of the Great Northwestern Plains and Black Hills. The Lakota culture was focused on community. This card highlights the importance of tribe and the kinship these people held for one another, where strength, courage, wisdom, generosity, faith and heart were felt as one. The Lakota people felt a deep reverence for spirit and saw felt and heard it in every aspect of the natural world. You are being guided to heed a call from your heart to connect with your soul family and active and be active within your community. So what I'm getting here, guys, um, just to, you know, cut in here is I'm getting that if you're needing to heal these lower chakras of yours okay when it comes to balancing out these chakras um it may call for you to reach out to a tribe okay it could be an online online tribe it could be a community within your local area however that speaks to you to help you perhaps heal or balance these chakras. It could be a chakra course or something like that, right? It could be a healing course or something, something like that. It could be even as simple as an empowerment tribe online or however that speaks to you. So I'm feeling like you're needing to connect with a tribe of people that are going to support you in healing and stabilizing these three lower chakras. All right. So like I said, if you're lacking confidence, if you're lacking strength, if you're lacking passion, excitement, if you're lacking boundaries, if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling ungrounded due to the fact that you have had um, or you've experienced trauma regarding perhaps toxic relationships or something like that, then this is coming through strongly. Okay, and I'm not even going to go back to the book because I don't even feel need to call out any more information from that book. I feel that we have everything we need here, but it starts from the root chakra up, you guys. So if you're in a space when it comes to love, connection and relationships and you're feeling insecure and unsure of yourself, uncertain, if you're feeling angry, resentful, um, guilty, all those kind of things, then it's really getting your attention to heal these imbalances within you, okay? So I'm going to turn to the tarot now. And we're going to draw extra cards and messages regarding your Love Vibes reading. Okay, so we've got the world in reverse. The world in reverse. I just feel like this is... Uh, I'm feeling like just with that card alone... Yeah, and the chariot. See, we've got the chariot to kind of back this card up. I'm feeling like with the world in reverse, you guys, that this is a cycle that has played out over and over and over again for you. And it's time to really heed that call. Okay. The fact that we've got the world, the chariot and the eight of wands in reverse tells me that everything is on pause right now. Things are on a standstill and it's the universe's way of getting you to heed the call. Okay. Yeah, we've got justice in reverse and we've got the hanged man in reverse. Okay, so just to reiterate, we've got the world in reverse, chariot in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. We've got the knight of swords upright. Justice in reverse and the hangman in reverse. Now, just because they're reversals, it doesn't mean that it's negative. Okay, I just want to reiterate, it doesn't mean it's negative. It just means that it brings up different messages for you. Um, and I read the cards intuitively, guys. I don't read by the textbook a lot of the time. I read these cards intuitively, okay? Okay. So with the chariot in the reversal like this, I feel like 
your love life or a connection is on pause right now. And it could be due to a lack of communication here with the Eight of Wands. Okay, maybe you're waiting to hear from someone. Okay, maybe Aries, you've put on the brakes. Maybe you have disconnected from someone and have stopped the communication. Okay, communication is on a standstill. Um, if you were expecting to travel or see someone that you're connected to, um, you can expect delays in this regard, okay? Or maybe someone may have promised travel, um, maybe someone that you're connected to or you fancy has promised to come and see you or come and visit you. I feel this person may be at a distance from you. I feel that that will not go through. Okay, they are not coming towards you. You are not going towards them. And this could be making you feel insecure. Okay, this could be bringing up a whole lot of stuff up to the surface. Now, in the pre-shuffle, I did get the moon in reverse for you guys. So I really feel that there are some deep fears coming up to the surface for you, Aries. And this is a repeated cycle. Okay, this has been playing out in this connection or this relationship or in your love life in general time and time again and you're being heralded to heed the call now okay to look at this work on this the chariot in reverse is saying um to work on on this okay it's going to be a little bit challenging it's going to be a little bit rough but the inner work needs to be done now okay with the hanged man in the reverse up here i'm seeing here that you're needing to come out of um victim mode okay there's no more hanging back and taking the bs Okay, there's no more hanging back and taking the breadcrumbs. Like, what is that? This is, um, I can't think of the word. The word is right on the tip of my tongue, you guys. Um, I can't think of the bloody word I'm trying to think of. Uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, it's going to annoy me. I will come back to this because the word is there. So the the other word that's coming to me is, are you going to, like this is saying, the universe is saying you've got to stop self-sacrificing. You've got to stop serving yourself up as a sacrificial lamb, okay? Um time to rise above the situation and stop accepting the breadcrumbs stop serving yourself up on a meat platter so to speak okay if someone keeps throwing out the bait to you and you keep taking the little bits of bait the little bits of bait will and this person isn't promising anything more with the eight of wands in reverse. Like if things have stopped, if things are gone silent and they're not promising anything more. Well, guys, you've got to read in between these lines. OK, read in between the lines, Aries. What does the silence mean? What do the breaks mean? If this person is all hot and then cold, we'll read in between the lines. You've got to stop being the victim. You've got to stop being the victim. And this is you coming out of that energy. 
okay coming out of that energy no longer no longer accepting the bs taking it from the behind right i just had to say that i don't mean to be gross i'm just being real and i'm being honest and i'm being myself right stop taking it um the knight of swords here you could be dealing with an air sign all right could be a gemini libran or an aquarius but it doesn't have to be or otherwise you could just be dealing with someone who you know runs off at the mouth promises you all these things via words and no actions okay oh they know